Have you ever found yourself engaging in actions for a woman that ultimately compromise your self-respect? If so, you're not alone. This relatable sentiment can leave you feeling drained and questioning your self-worth. It's time to reclaim your power and foster healthy, balanced connections. Join us as we delve into the ancient philosophy of Stoicism and explore 10 things you should never do for a woman or anyone that jeopardize your self-respect and foster codependency. This isn't about playing the blame game or suggesting you shouldn't care about the women in your life. It's about understanding how to care in a healthy, respectful, and ultimately more fulfilling way for both you and them. But there's more. If you're passionate about building stronger, healthier relationships and leading a more fulfilling life, hit that subscribe button and become a part of our community. We explore powerful philosophies like Stoicism that can help you create the life of your dreams. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. Number one, assuming preferences. Assuming preferences can be a tricky dance. It's like surprising your partner with roses, only to find out their supposed favorite flower changed a year ago. Epictetus, the Stoic philosopher, warns against assuming preferences. He emphasizes recognizing what's within our control and what's not. In relationships, assumptions about preferences can lead to misdirected efforts, resentment, and hinder open communication. Instead, practice rationality and open communication. Ask direct, clear, open-ended questions and be open to change as preferences evolve. Number two, ignoring communication. Active listening is a fundamental aspect of wisdom according to Stoic philosopher Epictetus. Ignoring communication, especially from women, can create a divide in relationships. Disrespect, missed opportunities for connection, and misunderstandings can arise. To foster wisdom and deeper connections, put away distractions, be present, engage with the speaker's thoughts and feelings, and practice active listening. This journey transforms you from a passive recipient to an empathic listener, promoting mutual understanding and respect. Number three, overprotectiveness. Being overly protective may unintentionally impede a woman's development and independence. Seneca, another Stoic philosopher, encourages supporting and encouraging a woman's skills, allowing her to lead while providing assistance when necessary. Respect her decisions, let her face consequences, and celebrate her accomplishments. Overprotectiveness fosters unbalanced power dynamics and dependency, damaging trust and respect. Number four, undermining independence. Undermining a woman's independence damages the foundation of the relationship. Seneca promotes individual autonomy and development, encourage and support each other's unique passions, make room for personal interests, and honor personal accomplishments. Communicate truthfully, respecting each other's decisions, and trust her judgment. Encouraging independence leads to a relationship where both partners thrive, aligned with stoic principles. Number five, assuming financial dependency. Assuming financial dependency based on gender perpetuates harmful stereotypes. Seneca highlights the value of fairness and equity in partnerships, emphasizing shared accountability. Engage in open, candid dialogues about money. Determine equitable financial responsibilities and recognize and value each partner's contributions. By seeking expert advice if needed, you can establish a fair and sustainable financial strategy, fostering trust and mutual respect. Number six, pressuring for intimacy. Pressuring for intimacy goes against stoic principles of moral behavior and respect. Musonius Rufus, a Stoic philosopher, emphasizes the importance of consent. Create a safe atmosphere for open communication about needs, wants, and limits. Encourage emotional closeness through thoughtful discussions and shared affection. Respect boundaries and promote consent-based intimacy. Seek professional assistance if managing intimacy in the relationship is challenging. Number seven, disregarding boundaries. Disregarding boundaries disrupts the natural flow of trust and respect in a relationship. Epictetus stresses the value of understanding and upholding boundaries. Communicate openly about personal needs and boundaries, 
Actively listen without judgment and respect each other's comfort zones. Recognize nonverbal cues and practice empathy to create a relationship where trust runs freely. Number eight, making decisions without consultation. Making decisions unilaterally erodes respect and trust. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher, advocates for conscious leadership and seeking input from others. Prioritize honest and open communication about big decisions, consider each other's viewpoints and decide on common objectives and principles. Accept diverse viewpoints, seek agreement, and recognize and value each other's contributions to shared decision-making. Number nine, assuming domestic roles. Assuming household responsibilities based on gender perpetuates unequal relationships. Zeno of Sidium, a Stoic philosopher, emphasizes justice and equity. Foster a fair collaboration by openly discussing household responsibilities, considering each person's skills and challenging cultural norms. Embrace adaptability, regularly assess duty distribution, and recognize and thank each other's contributions to establish a relationship built on mutual respect. Number 10. Dismissing emotions. Ignoring or dismissing emotions in a relationship disrupts the harmonious connection. Stoicism, while promoting reason and rationality, doesn't advocate for suppressing emotions. Recognize and validate emotions, communicate openly about feelings, and encourage a supportive environment where both partners can express themselves. Seeking professional help if needed can also contribute to a healthier emotional connection. In conclusion, embracing stoic principles in relationships involves fostering open communication, mutual respect, and understanding. By avoiding assumptions, supporting independence, and recognizing the importance of consent and boundaries, you can build a relationship grounded in wisdom and fulfillment.